Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, hello and welcome back to Mech Warrior 2. I'm Computer, and today we shall be doing a capture and secure enemy command vehicle. Let's hope it can't actually move, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Our 352nd Assault 3rd Battle Cluster and 13th Wolf Guards have cut off the Falcon's 6th Provisional Garrison in the Great Gash. The Falcon's 5th Talon is uh, assaulting the 13th flank, attempting to break the line. Probes have located the 5th Talon Cluster's mobile headquarters hidden within the spires and mesas of the Plain of Curtains. The Kashyyyk has deemed it necessary to capture the command vehicle and its staff for interrogation. Let the Falcon remember Twycross. It already should, it's a pretty significant planet. Anyway, codename Scorching Sand, planet Twycross, terrain Mesa Desert, and it's during dawn. Sweep the area, follow the nav sequence, and search for the mobile HQ. It will be defended. You may destroy any defenders, but the command vehicle must not be harmed. Once the command vehicle has been taken by destroying all defending units, set up a defensive position and wait for your dropship. Do not allow the command vehicle to come to harm. Objectives. Primary. Capture and secure enemy command vehicle. Secondary. Destroy all defending units. Tertiary, destroy any targets of opportunity. Return to dust off site, command vehicle site. All right, I feel like you've maybe repeated yourself there, but it's fine. Also, let's hope the targets of opportunity aren't like impossible to destroy, but uh, oh well. Situation. As expected, the fighting on Denis Lee had taken a heavy toll on Khan Natasha Kerensky's forces. The Wolf Khan had set a near inhuman pace for her warriors, and they had begun to show signs of fatigue. The Black Widow chose her next target in an attempt to speed the achievement of her overarching goal, destroying as many Falcon units as possible. By targeting Twycross, sight of the Falcon's most humiliating defeat, Khan Natasha hoped to goad the Falcon Sakan Christu into committing a large force of frontline troops to battle. However, Krista refused to fall victim to her scheme. In a show of disdain for the aging Wolf Khan, he assigned the 5th Talon, 6th Provisional Garrison, and the 18th Falcon Regulars, all inexperienced garrison units, to Twycross. Krista wanted to do more than insult Natasha. He wanted to humiliate his opponent, and so he added the Falcon Guards to the list of troops. Their mere presence would show Khan Kerensky the seething contempt he felt for her and the shame of their predecessor's defeat might spur the Falcon Guards on to great success. Although Christu is something of a cartoonish villain, as most villains in Baltech tend to be, he does actually manage to achieve most of the things he set out to do. Although maybe not entirely in the way he wished he would have, but uh, yeah, it's a bit of a breath, breath of fresh air that he's not truly incompetent, I guess. Yeah, but uh, for now, let's go see about a mech. Nova. Now, if memory serves, I do need some jump jets on this mission, or very sturdy legs. So um, Nova is uh... no, it's too it's too warm. Storm med med I could put. I could put some jump jets on this guy, maybe? Maybe. The LRF-5s are interesting, and like you get a lot more shots with them than you do with uh, LRM-20s. See, uh, ammo 6, that means you can fire 6 times, but with LRM-5s you can fire 24 times. And, uh, well, 24 times 5, no, 4, is enough, uh, equal to a single flight of LRMs. So, yeah, it, it does take more um, mass, though, because each of these ones need a ton of uh, ammo each. So, that's 8 tons for 20 missiles, and this is only 6 tons. No, mass plus ammo, and you can only fire six times. Yeah. 
and the damage is the same. The heat is slightly warmer for LRM fives, if you times this by four. So yeah. But uh, let's see. Let's remove those and put in some jump jets. Four of them, in fact. There. There. That should work, I think. Uh, and then next episode is going to be a trial of position. So no missiles then, and then we'll see what happens after that. But for now... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, we are alone. Got it. And launch. Granite Twycross. Ambient temperature 69.56 degrees. Local time is 09.34.55 GST. All systems nominal. And die, please. I said die. That was a command, not a request. Although heat seems to be working pretty well. Enemy mech destroyed. Maybe spamming them isn't a good idea. Um, you're be oh wow, you're trying to That was impressive. Enemy now die. Destroyed. All right, a hundred missiles times eight. Probably should be fine. Alpha. Yeah, let's go. I always love this map, though. Satellite link can we? We can. Wow, this is as far out as we go. That's too bad. Where's the next one? Enemy power up detected. Probably that way. Nav Alpha reached. Alpha Beta is that way. Well, we can turn around. Huh. I don't want to show you my back. Oh, hello. Uh, it seems to be a wolf. All right. Just gonna wait here. That did not do what I hoped it would. You're trying to back away from me? Understandable, but probably still have some of them. Enemy man Rare. destroyed. That was your torso. Just so we're clear. I think. Torso. Enemy power up detected. Enemy power up detected. Elemental? Really? Also, beta is there. And then gamma is that way. Oh, hell no. These. They can jump. They fly now. 
And they can... That doesn't work. Ow. Did you just... I mean, I can also fly, I guess, but... Oh, you're fleeing. That works for me. Enemy mech destroyed. Uh, my torso is hurt. Uh, in the back, though, so that's fine. Enemy mech destroyed. Thank you. That way. I think. Let's ignore beta. Yeah. Also, isn't delta before gamma? At least the music is good. Destroy any targets of opportunity. I haven't really seen any of those. And apparently the elementals didn't count. Nav gamma reached. Ah, oh, hello. That is a turret, I think. on the other side. Same with that. That one I might actually be able to see. I'm guessing I'm... Never mind. Oh, hello. That's a lot of red, actually. Enemy target destroyed. There you are. Hello. Assault vehicle. Engaged. Guessing that's not Enemy someone I need to worry about. That's a lot of weapons you have. Good. Oh, there you are. Didn't really need one of them to hit me. I should probably move, because those are a lot. You have jump jets too. Does everyone know how to jump here? Well, I mean, I do too, I suppose. Ow. Ow. didn't work. They're following you, though. ETA dropship, one minute. Mm hmm. Guess I need to be a bit more... Oh. Oh, right, you're a rifleman. You don't have any other weapons. At least not this version. There. Destroyed. Secondary objective successful. Well, that's nice. Now, what are you? Are you, friend? You are. Good. Good, good, good. No, no, no. That would be bad. There, we can target you. Sensors indicate. Friendly dropship has arrived at dust off site. Primary objective. Staff, I think. Capture and secure command vehicle. 
successful. Yes, stop. Proceed to dust off zone for extraction. Target is beyond inspection radius. Image Beta. engaged. Delta is all the way over there. That, that piques my curiosity. I mean, I'm about to lose one of my arms and half my weapons, but let's go have a look. I do also like that the it's the the command vehicle is now green on the map. That is a really nice touch. seeing anything else. Yeah, no. It is possible that something is hiding on top of one of these, I suppose. It is also entirely possible that I am supposed to destroy the command vehicle as a target of opportunity. It would be silly, though. Oh, never mind. It's not you that is green. It's um, this thing. Yeah. Um, I'm here. Mission there we go. The command vehicle has been captured and the staff are being interrogated in quotation marks. That sucks to be them. Your action has stunned the enemy long enough for the fifth to link up and resupply the sixth. The mission was a success. Secondary, primary and return objectives all successful. Destroy any, tar any targets. Failed. All right. Enemy makes destroy two, direct. And then six in total. I don't really know what to make of that now, because I didn't have any friends, and I only had indirect weapons. But, uh, oh well. Well done, Mech Warrior. The Kashyyyk is pleased. How nice. Aftermath. The battle on Twycross began on the Plain of Curtains where fierce winds swept the shifting red sands and forced the falcon and wolf mechs into close combat. The wolf set up a diamond formation at the edge of the plain in front of the Great Gash. The 341st Assault Cluster stood in the front of the formation, the 3rd Battle Cluster and the 352nd Assault Cluster formed the sides, and Khan Natasha's 13 Wolf Guards formed the rear. When the Falcon 6th Provisional Garrison Cluster struck at the Wolves, the 341st quickly fell back, as instructed. That maneuver drew the pursuing 6th Provo into the Diamond, and the 3rd Battle Cluster and the 352nd opened fire on the enemy's flanks, decimating the surprised Falcons. The Falcons 5th Talon and the 18th Regulars approached more cautiously, however. As those units engaged the 341st, the Falcon Guards advanced to reinforce the attack. Heavy fighting ensued and both sides took extensive casualties. Then the 341st broke off from the battle and passed into the Great Gash, quickly followed by the 3rd Battle Cluster and the 352nd. Meanwhile, the 13 Wolf Guards slowly retreated until they stood at the mouth of the Gash. Kanatasha had hoped to draw the Falcons into the Gash. She had stationed the 11th Battle Cluster along the side of the Gash and planned to ambush the Falcon mechs as they marched into the valley. The Falcons did not fall for the bait, however. At that point, Kanatasha ordered the wolf units to evacuate Twycross, and she remained behind to challenge the Falcon commanders to individual combat. And so, on December 7th, 3057, Kanatasha Kerensky of the Wolf Clan the infamous Black Widow died amid the blood-red sands of Twycross. I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with how Battletech treats its uh, quote-unquote main characters. On the one hand, I dislike how easily beloved characters like Natasha Kerensky gets killed off, 
but on the other hand, it does make the universe feel a lot more alive, ironically, and a lot more dangerous. It gives a bit of uh, suspense when reading the books, certainly. No one is truly safe, and plot armor doesn't last forever. Especially since the Battletech saga spans about a hundred years of history at this point, so those characters that are lucky enough to live to retirement are still not immune to the ravages of time. And since it's a universe of constant war, most characters will not, in fact, live to retirement. And knowing Khan Natasha Kerensky, she probably wouldn't have wanted to die of old age anyway. But, uh... Yeah. And next up is a trial of position. We can become a Nova Captain. And uh, considering how different the last trial of position was compared to the Jade Falcon trial of positions, I'm not really sure what they're going to throw against us. I don't even know what kind of mech we get. So that'll be a surprise. But for now, ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, I've been Computer, this has been Mech Warrior 2, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll tune in next time. Trial initiated. Wolf Clan protocol. All systems nominal.